Friends, what a long way we have come so far. Today we are going to finish the assembly. This will be some very long video, so make sure you don't fall asleep. Let's start with the PCA board, the switch, and the battery holder. Mount the PCA board with 4M3 screws. Put in a switch and attach it with 2M3 screws. Now mount the battery holder. The screws should be sufficient. Let's start the soldering. Here you can see the schematics of the electronic connections. How you do it is left to you, but make sure you follow the diagram. I like to branch of it the terminals of the PCA board. Like this you have the connection and thin ends to insert to the terminal ports. You can choose to include the switch on the plus side or the GND side. I like to include it on plus directly behind the power supply. Now grab for servos and the according caps and screw them in. You will have to take longer screws than the ones that come with the servos. It is not optimal, but with this design we save a lot support structure. Now grab the legs we assembled before and put them onto the body. Now take a servo tester and set it to medium position. Connect the servo and you will hear it moving to the middle position. Now align the leg that it is perpendicular to the servo's front plane and put on the servo horns and attach them with one metal screw at the servo output and two additional screws at the leg U parts. Zero, one to three for five, six, seven. That is the order you have to use to connect the servos to the PCA board. If that was too fast, don't panic. Here is a photo. Now guide all the cables through the hole in the back to their position and connect them to the PC board. For six back and ESP item and you can go through another hole at the front. Now we can connect the head to power G and D and the PC board. But first let's put on the face since we forgot it last time. Take the last servo and attach it to the lid. Again, use the servo tester to set the servo to middle position. Grab the lever with the recess for the servo horn and screw it tight. Take the other lever and attach it by screwing on the plate. Watch out to tighten the screw up, but leave enough space for the lever to run free. Next step is to attach the lower levers to the lid. Same here, watch out that the levers can be moved with ease. Now we can mount the head like shown. Attach the last servo to the PCA board and squeeze the lid under the cabling mess. Use cable ties to fix the cables from the head to the lever. Watch out to keep some access over at the top and on the bottom for the cables to move. If you want, you can wrap all cables with cable guide to make it clean. And that's it. The next step is going to be the calibration and the final upload. Thank you, guys.